ఇక ట్రిపుల్ తలాక్ బిల్లుపై లోక్సభలో వాడి వేడి చర్చ జరుగుతోంది ఈ సమావేశాల్లోనే బిల్లును ఆమోదింప చేసుకోవాలని కేంద్రం పట్టుదలతో ఉంది ఏ మతాన్ని లక్ష్యంగా చేసుకుని ఈ బిల్లు తీసుకురావడం లేదని కేంద్ర న్యాయ శాఖ మంత్రి రవిశంకర్ ప్రసాద్ స్పష్టం చేశారు మానవత్వాన్ని ప్రోత్సహించేందుకే దీన్ని తీసుకొచ్చామన్నారు అటు బీజేపీ ఎంపీలంతా బిల్లుకు సహకరించాలని విపక్షాలను కోరుతున్నారు లోక్సభ చర్చను లైవ్ లో చూద్దాం Thank you, Speaker, Madam, for giving me an opportunity to speak on the bill. Mm -hmm. uh, Speaker, Madam, I am the eighth speaker in this bill. And as you can see, that most men have spoken for the rights of women than <coughs> women. I would urge upon the Honorable Minister, I would like to remind you of a commitment which your government has made to the joint session of parliament through a presidential address and to the nation that you will bring in 33% reservation for the women. That was in 2014. Close to five years are getting over. If you would have fulfilled your commitment to bring in 33% reservation for the women, possibly going forward, more women would have more their rights than men. I would urge upon the Honorable Deputy Speaker, sir, the Honorable Chief Minister of Odisha, Sri Nabin Patnaik, has passed the unanimous resolution in Odisha Assembly for 33% reservation in Assembly and Parliament. I would urge upon you, sir, to take the lead and let this House pass an unanimous resolution to have 33% reservation for women so that more women can speak for the rights of women than men speaking for them. Having said that, this triple talak bill is being brought in the house, brought in the parliament, pursuant to a Supreme Court judgment, wherein <coughs> the Supreme Court has requested parliament to frame a law. I will just quote one line which is contained in 199 para of the Supreme Court judgment. Quote, we would therefore implore the legislature to bestow its thoughtful consideration to this issue of paramount importance. The Supreme Court has said it is of paramount importance. Now let us see to what an extent this bill contains the thoughtful opinion of the legislature when several members have raised the issue to send it to a select committee, standing committee. Now sir, what is triple talaq? It allows any Muslim man to legally divorce his wife by stating the word talaq three times either in written, orally, or in more recent form, electronically, including sending an SMS by mobile phone, even if he is not near to his wife. That, that makes triple talaq fine. Men need not have to give any reason for <coughs> divorce. Triple talaq is a practice which is not mentioned in Quran or Sharia law. Several countries, more predominantly Muslim countries, have banned a triple talaq. Hence, there is a need, sir to ban such a draconian practice. Now having said that, let me come to the law <coughs> per se, the Muslim woman protection of rights on marriage bill. Uh, Deputy Speaker, sir, I will not go into the details of the bill because a lot have been <coughs> said by Honorable Minister and several other members. But I would like to have some of the critical observation and I would urge upon the Honorable Minister to take a note of it and incorporate to the extent that is permissible. Number one. The bill is targeted at a particular religion and hence put a question mark on the very constitutionality of the bill. It's very, very important, sir. Now, an attempt at creating a class-specific legislation on the grounds of religion instead of focusing on the larger issue of mistreatment and desertion of wives and dependents, which affect all communities the bill is in terms of a specific religion, sir. Now, it is a clear-cut violation of Article 15 and 16 of the Constitution. That's number one. Number two, the bill has no safeguard to prevent this misuse. It is therefore arbitrary and violation of Article 14 and Article 21 of the Constitution. I'd like to flag up this important point for the consideration of Honorable Minister. Point number three, sir. I will come to the legislative competence. No one can question the legislative competence of the parliament in terms of personal law. In exercise of its legislative power 
contained in entry 3 of list, entry 5 of list 3, and hence it can certainly bring in a law outlawing triple talaq. Nobody can stop us from doing that. But since the majority of three judge benches had already set aside triple talaq and after Article 141 of the Constitution, majority view is the law decided by Supreme Court. Under these circumstances, is there any need for the Parliament to bring in a further legislation? Is there a need to bring in, <coughs> which already have been dissolved, Supreme Court has clearly stated that triple talaq does not dissolve marriage. Hence, it put a basic question mark, do you really need the law in its current form? Next point, sir. No need to criminalize triple talaq. A breach, I will explain <coughs> for the convenience of Honorable Minister, a breach of contract is a private wrong, sir. And a private wrong is a violation of personal right, which at the most can cost liquidated damages and nothing beyond that. That is the law of the land. Criminal law is used as a matter of last resort, and it cannot be used for anything and everything. Triple talaq, which does not dissolve marriage, cannot be declared as a crime, <coughs> and that is what is need to be noted. Now, I would once again like to urge upon the minister that if the bill is brought in its present form and implemented, it has full potential to backfire, sir. I will ex let me explain how it is the potential to backfire. Since marriage is not dissolved by triple talaq, why should the wife, by filing a criminal case against the husband, give the opportunity of divorce for an extended period of three months? That's the basic issue. Next, for fear of prosecution, many Muslim men, instead of divorcing their wife, may simply abandon them, which is happening on many cases. And our criminal justice system is so prolonged, no useful purpose can really be uh, served by enacting the law in its present form. Next, sir, since the law makes the husband liable to pay for maintenance, how can the husband pay for maintenance when he is spending time in the jail? So these are the basic issues which can really backfire in its implementation in the current form. Next point, sir, is a very, very important point. I would like to draw the attention of Honorable Minister. It is a legal point, and I have my own apprehension whether it can stand the test of law in this country. Now, triple talar is a case of extreme anger. Now, sir, generally triple talaq is pronounced in case of extreme anger where the region takes a backseat. Now, having said that, this mental state is called insanity in its legal form. And insanity is an exception from criminal liability.